So let's talk about 50 Shades of American Women Who Love the Book and Live the Life. I have not looked at this magazine yet. I've just read the cover and I've kind of just been like, woo, just to see if it was worthwhile buying and talking about. From what I've skimmed, it is. It's ridiculous. Um, can you imagine, like a week from now, like, oh, and the best-selling magazine of all time. <laughs> I'm hoping that this isn't like a... Um, a thing, I, feel, I hope it's just like a special magazine, like a one-time thing. If this is like a continual magazine with issues every every month, I don't know how, I don't know how you talk about this book for that long. This scares me, book four on the way. I'm hoping that's a joke. Fifty Shades is much more than a book, it's a movement. Hey, they've got a picture of the author. E.L. James, didn't know that that's what she looked like. Um, so cool. That's cool, she looks kind of normal. So I expect her to be like really creepy looking. Um, yeah, she's saying, M me The day I met E.L. James is the article title. I waited in line overnight to speak with the author and in the process learned some incredible news. My girlfriend is dying to know what's next for Christian Grey, I asked. And then E.L. James says, Well, he's locked up in my basement at the moment. <laughs> what? I can't let him out. He's been a bad, bad boy, James said with a wry smile. She's probably like, her inner goddess is probably like giving a wry smile and her subconscious is like, why are you being such a bitch? Just tell everyone. No! No! Oh my god. This is a joke, right? This is a joke. I can't even, I don't even want to say it out loud. It's like jinxing it if it's not true. No. No. No! Fuck! Ah! Uh, there's gonna be a fourth one! Why? 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 It was called Fifty Shades of Death, and everyone dies on it. And L. James autograph, blah blah blah. She says there was something exciting about to happen in the Fifty Shades universe. We all leaned into the listen, and she said, F Fourth Fifty Shades novel, motherfucker. Bring into action and asked as many questions as I could. There's a fourth one. Yeah, there's a fourth one coming, she says. What? What's it about? She just threw it at her publisher. Her publisher was telling me about it, and I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, I don't believe you. This is a real quote from the magazine. Who writes like this? Ian Somerhalder would make a great Fifty Shades, and so does everyone else. Um, however, Ian Somerhalder is mine, um, from Vampire Diaries, and from Rules of Attraction, and I've loved him for a very long time, and if people, if he, I don't want to, I think he's a great Christian Grey as far as like um, he could pull the part off really well and he has the looks for it but I just don't want him to take this role because he'll be typecasted forever as that douchebag who beats women and is a whiny man. And they want Rory from Gilmore Girls to play Anastasia. She would be fine. I'd be fine with that because I don't really care about her um, and I think she has the looks for it. She's got the blue eyes and the dark hair. Look at this guys. They picked Taylor Lautner for Jose. He's the only option in this because uh Wow, because he was written for that part. I don't know, because I've always said Jose is Jacob Black, duh. She bought Anna a number of things, but lingerie was rarely on the list. Here's why you should buy your own underwear. Mmm. <laughs> Safe tips for beginners on how to spank. Shade of gray are you nail polish. Oh my god, so hard to decide. I want to be all of them. Of course, no women's magazine is complete without a small workout little page. Isn't that great? You know, you've seen them before in all of the magazines. This one is called Buns of Anastasia Steele, where you can get buns like Anastasia Steele. You want to know how you get buns like Anastasia Steele? You don't eat. Anna's Diet Secrets. Here we go. Strawberries, wine, fish, and pancakes. Mmm, or nothing. I would just go with nothing. Anna, how do you stay so fit? I eat a cup of yogurt every week and the skin off of an almond. Mm, Fifty Shades of Grey inspired cocktails. Sex on a boat. The Red Room of Pain. The Lover's Contract and the Twitchy Palm. Sexy and please get me drunk enough to get through the rest of this magazine. Uh, we've got an article about a girl who is a sub and a dom. And neither. Uh, I didn't make that up. Here she is being neither and then a dom and then a sub and who cares. Here we go. Here is proof that everyone can enjoy Fifty Shades of Grey if you have no literary experience. I'm a Mormon and I loved it. What does being Mormon have to do with anything? Eat like a sex goddess like Anna. Don't eat it all. Bananas, chocolate, eggs, asparagus. 
because Anna likes to suck on asparagus because she's weird. Um, that's about it. Oh, here's the last page. Laters, baby! Hoping that this is the only magazine ever to come out because I cannot stand it if this becomes the best-selling magazine of all time. I'll shoot myself in the face. So, uh, now that we know that a fourth book's coming out, and apparently before Christmas, although I've heard nothing about it other than this magazine, but I don't know how reliable this source is, um, we'll see if I have recovered enough from the other three novels to talk about the fourth one, or even read it and put it into my brain. My brain cannot handle it right now. So anyway, that is this magazine, and that's all I'll be talking about, about Fifty Shades for until the fourth book, with if and ever that comes out, and if and ever I decide to do a plot summary review of it. I might, just because it's kind of funny, but at the same time, ouch, my brain. Okay.